this video is organized into three topics course introduction, course navigation, and course assessment. The main purpose of career and life management is to help you make well informed, considered decisions in all aspects of your life. This calm course is designed to improve your understanding of health issues and apply that knowledge and skills to personal and real life situations. There are five units in this course. To be successful, complete them all in order. The course homepage is broken up into three sections. A top navigation bar, unit covers in the center, and another navigation bar at the bottom of the page. The top navigation toolbar gives you access to the resources you will need throughout the course. The teacher area has details about your teacher and markers and contact information. The toolbox holds a library of video tutorials that will help you do your assignments. The resources area contains website links on a variety of useful topics including student support services. The connect icon is your only link to discussion forums. Please use this when you are asked to make posts and contribute to discussions. When you connect to a particular discussion area, please note that you can use the search field to type your name to search for a post you have already completed. The Health Challenge is an ongoing activity that you will complete throughout the course. Here, you can access challenges that will stay the same all year. Once you complete a challenge, click its Collect button to download and save the badge for later use in Unit 4. Don't procrastinate. It is a must to start your health challenges as you begin in Unit 1 because by Unit 4, you will need to have them all completed. The ePortfolio is for personal use only. Here, if you wish, you can use EduBlogs to create your own portfolio. ePortfolios will not be used for marks, so it's important to save your assignments elsewhere on your computer for uploading to the Dropbox when required. The little yellow ruler grades icon is also very important. Visit here often to view your grades and assignment feedback. The course content is divided over five units, and they have common features in all of them. Once you click on a unit cover, you will see three icons near the top right. The target icon shows the outcomes you will achieve when you complete your assignments. The sneak peek icon may be hiding just below the text help icon. It allows you to preview the assignments in the action area of the unit. Note the target and sneak peek are just for your convenience. There are no additional assignments in those areas. Use the text help tool to have the page content read to you out loud. To start each unit, you will watch a video. As you watch certain videos in the course, you will reflect on key questions provided for you. To find those questions, just look beneath the video in the Reflect section. Use the Notes link provided to download a Word document. This download link is found at the beginning of every unit in the Watch and Reflect sections. Save the Word documents to put your answers to the Reflect questions as you move through the units. Please note these reflect questions are only to help you think about the videos. The questions are not for marks. All units are divided into five sections. Introduction, Watch and Reflect, Deep Dive, Connect, and Action. It is very easy to navigate to any section of the course by using the table of contents. As you click on the unit sections in the table of contents, the right side changes to match. Then simply click on your page of choice. 
During the COM course you will be asked to contribute to discussions. It is worth noting that there are two types of discussions in the COM course. You will find discussions in the Connect sections. It is very important to contribute to these, as they are formally assessed for marks. Occasionally you will also find discussions in the Deep Dive sections. These discussions are not assessed for marks. Before each action area, you will complete a self-assessment to help you review the content of the unit before you complete the assignments. The action sections at the end of each unit are very important. Here you will find your assignments. Be sure to complete all parts. You may not receive a mark for incomplete assignments. When you have completed action assignments, you'll submit them to the Dropbox. If you're not sure how to use the Dropbox, visit the course toolbox for a tutorial. The checklists found at the end of each unit are a great way to ensure you have completed everything you need to. You are assessed formally on your Connect Forum postings and your action assignments. If you look carefully at this chart, you'll see the breakdown for all the marks for this course. Note that there is no final exam. What are your responsibilities as an online learner? Well, participation in discussions is required. All students must post to the discussion forums. The basic rules for online discussions are Use your manners, encourage one another, and ask good questions to help extend the conversation. While your teacher and markers contribute to these discussions, as students, you have the responsibility to set and contribute to a positive learning environment for everyone. Okay, it's time to get started. Now would be a good time to see what you have learned in this video by exploring all the icons in the main toolbar. When you are ready to start the course, a great place to start is with the Unit 1 Introduction. And if you still have questions on how to proceed, consider downloading the tips document on the Unit 1 Introduction page. We hope you enjoy your calm studies.